This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus for April 12th through the 17th of 2020. This is a general read. Can or will not resonate with everybody. Check your other planetary placements. And also, energies are fluid. It could be your energy or whomever. This could be work, love, whatever relationship. Okay. Um, family. You get it. Okay, timing's fluid. So let's see what energies we have for you for this Easter weekend. Happy Easter, everybody. Messages and guidance that we have for Taurus, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus, please. Let's see what we have for Taurus. We have call for help. So if you're struggling in some area, um, it's okay to ask for help. You don't have to do everything by yourself. Taurus, you, you guys are very independent and you don't like to ask for help, even if you really need it. Um, you like to do things your way, do things, you know, by, uh, by yourself. It's like the attitude of, the only way it's going to get done and get done right is if I do it myself. Um, I feel as though that maybe you're being overwhelmed, Taurus, and that there is a need to, you know, kind of swallow your pride a little bit and ask for help if it's needed. Okay, we have um, natural, authentic, real, organic. Okay, this is, um, it is natural to feel overwhelmed. It is natural to um to have to need help and this and and this is also about being very authentic about it you know somebody may even be offering you help and they mean it they're being very authentic with it and creator or um this is the maker this is catalyst maker mother father so you know Maybe you get some help from your mother or your father, okay? Some sort of energy like that. Or maybe you need help dealing with them, okay? I'm just saying, but it feels like that there is definitely some kind of sense of being overwhelmed here. And Spirit is saying, you know, you don't have to handle it on your own. Um, you don't have to handle the situation whether it's with your parents or whomever, all by yourself, it's okay to ask for help. Okay, let's get some romance angel cards and see what the what's, what's going on in the relationship realm here. For this week, Easter week, I know romance is really tough right now with the social distancing and stuff. You know, it just, it makes things a little bit more difficult. I know that. It's like, I watch and listen to readings that talk about love, but it's, it's like, okay, how do you come together with somebody with social distancing? I'm sure there's a way, but let's see here. Messages and guidance. Taurus, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus. For a week of April 12th or April 19th. Okay. Um, it's kind of funny. Aries got this card. And actually Taurus was involved in, in the Aries reading as well. You may want to go and check out the Aries reading as well. So in Aries reading, it was about being deceptive in that nobody's talking about their emotions. Keeping things to themselves. Wedding. Ooh. Engagement and what? Okay. Taurus. What's going on here? Are you becoming engaged? And you're hiding it? Why wouldn't you want to announce this to the world? Okay. There seems to be a deepening of a connection here. There's engagement. There's taking things to the next level. There is a solid commitment here. 
but there's a deception amongst this somehow. Um, either you or your partner is being deceptive in this connection, or you're you might be deceiving somebody else or deceiving others, deceiving family members. Is this a secret engagement? Possibly, could be. Maybe you have a secret engagement that you're just not announcing to the world yet. Just saying, okay? Okay, let's get the overall energy between you and your love interest here. Let's see what's going on between you guys. Okay, let's see what's going on between you and your love interest. It's going to be overall energies, love or partner. Like I said, it may not be a romantic partner. It could be a family member. It could be a colleague. Let's just see. It could be a friendship. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, general energy is here for Taurus. You know, this connection. Um, recognition and reward. This is the three of wands. This is making plans. This is going forward. This is being recognized for your efforts. This is, you know, being in the spotlight. Okay, whatever this is about, it's like your relationship is going to be front and center. Whether um, that this even could be in your family or in your or in society there could be some kind of light being shed on your plans that you plan on moving forward i just feel that there's some kind of secret plans that you're not announcing to anybody yet that's just a feeling that i'm getting here but i feel like the cat's going to be let out of the bag somehow and you are going to be in the spotlight and people's going to it, it just doesn't make sense why you wouldn't want to announce that but that may come out in the rest of this reading see here light this is the sun this is happiness uh this is the spotlight you could be dealing with a leo okay or somebody with leo in their chart but this is letting the light shine it's like this there some light is going to be shining in this connection in this relationship and again i'm seeing the sun here i'm seeing the sun here i'm seeing the spotlight you are going to be in the spotlight for sure this week concerning this relationship um that there could be some somebody may be pushing for a wedding just saying somebody might be pushing for an engagement firm foundation so you are trying to build something on a solid foundation here okay you're trying and love begins this is the ace of cups so Mm, some of you might be starting a new relationship, but the deception card is here. Is it possible that your partner or someone in this might already be committed and they're being a little bit deceptive about it and not revealing that? Meanwhile, you're you're thinking that, okay, you're, you, you're going to build this foundation with somebody. Then we have the mountain up ahead, too, about this firm foundation as well. I'm seeing an obstacle here. And some sort of light is going to be shed on the situation, on the relationship. Um, going to definitely have to dig more into this and see what, what on earth is going on here. This is some crazy energy. It is like some sort of connection being either being denied. Um, somebody may want to get married or may want to commit more. And there's somebody may be denying that some this could also be about self-deception you know somebody could be deceiving themselves in this connection feeling like um everything's okay but maybe it's not uh we're definitely going to look into to see what else is going on here 
but something just it's almost like do you ever get that feeling like when you read something and you see the facts you see what's going on but there just seems to be like one plus one is not adding up to two it's just, that's where this deception something hidden some kind of hidden factor in this connection here that is related to a deep commitment related to marriage and engagement or getting engaged or getting married there's there is just something hidden behind the scenes that's not being revealed okay so with that said we're going to get into the rest of these cards here I don't know why these cards are getting harder and harder for me to shuffle. I'll just anyhow. Okay, let's see what, what is going on. And we are going to take a look at your side of the fence, Taurus. What is going on with you? Okay, we do have this internal conflict. Um, this is facing off with somebody. This is some struggles. This could be internal or mute. There may be some struggles or arguments regarding this connection. Maybe because I feel like something is coming out. Okay. And all lights and eyes are going to be on you. It may be causing some conflicts with yourself. This is how you are perceiving things. Um, you know, there may be some conflicts within the home, within the, this foundation here. How it relates... Um, there might be some inner conflicts that you need to face that are being shed upon. Let's see here. We have the other side of the three of cups. <sighs> Turning your back on celebrating. This is almost like somebody wants a commitment Somebody wants some kind of more solid foundation, whether this is you or your partner. But I feel more like this is your partner's energy wants this firm foundation with you, okay? Um, and when I see this three of cups on the reverse side, the other side, it is almost like somebody's back is towards, like they're celebrating, but their back is towards you. Okay? Or your back is towards them. And there's two other people here. It's like, okay, you're taking center stage. I even hate to say this, but Taurus, is there somebody else on your agenda as well? It almost feels like that Maybe you there's a lack of commitment here because there is still another energy lingering around or there's another energy that is entering the picture, okay? Because we did have this Ace of Cups here. So there may be somebody that has sparked. This, and this is on your side. It's like deception. It's like... Now, keep in mind, um, the sides can be reversed. This could be your partner, but I'm just saying it almost feels like some kind of deceptive measures regarding a commitment. And you, somebody else, um, there's the Ace of Cups coming into the picture, and you're holding that Ace of Cups up, and it's almost like a decision you have to make. I want to say third-party relationship or love triangle that you may find yourself caught up in, Taurus. Just saying. Okay? Um... Because there's this talk of commitment, but you're not very enthusiastic about it. It's what I'm feeling here. 
It's like, uh, we're not celebrating yet. Four of Pentacles. You know, this is looking out into the oasis. This is looking out at your foundations. Taking a close look at it. Um, this might be a need to release something. Okay. On your end, it's, it's like you... Your whole, you are holding on to something, I feel, that is holding you back, that you don't feel like celebrating anything. And I, I do definitely feel this is your partner who wants a deeper commitment, who wants something more solid from you. And you may not be in a position to offer that at this time. You have a lot of internal conflicts going on here. And I'm seeing... This one person here with two others, I'm feeling like a choice, a decision needing to be made, not, not exactly celebrating. You're holding up your cup and you're just deciding who you're going to give it to. That's the energy I feel. And you're looking at your foundations. You're looking at what you've built up for yourself. And your, your, your whole decision process might be solely based upon financials, just saying. Meanwhile, you have this Ace of Cups lurking. You know, it's almost like a choice between love and money here. It's, I'm going to be honest. That's what it feels like, a, a, a choice between love and money. I see what's on your um, partner side or love interest side. And, and this is however it relates to you, whether it's with a family member or with a work colleague, a boss or a romantic. Okay. But let's see what's on your partner side. Okay, we have the tower. But it's the other side of the tower. It's like this is screaming a false foundation. It's like your partner's looking at this and things are crumbling around them. They want something solid and they're realizing that it's hollow. It's like empty promises. And there's like this explosion ready to happen. The tower's ready to fall. This is definitely, um, the tower is Scorpio energy. Okay. Um, look at that. The mask, deception in the mask, something being blown wide open. So whoever is hiding something, whether it's on your side or theirs, something is going to be blown completely off. Now, it's on their side of the, it's on their side of the, of this scenario, their story. This is their story. So, either they're going to explode over something that comes to light because somebody's going to be put in the spotlight. Something's going to be revealed and somebody's foundations are going to be shaken. And I feel like this could be on this, their, this your person's side, but it's almost like something being revealed. Um, on your side, there's a sense of letting go of something. Something needs to be let go of in order for you to find that happiness and settle that internal struggle. And then there's somebody here that wants a deeper connection. Who wants to, who, somebody wants to get married. But I feel like you may be holding off on it. It's like you're not giving them definitive answers. Um, there may be a little bit of deception going on there. and But I feel like that that's all going to come out in the wash this week, Taurus. But with this empty tower here, it's like there was a false sense of security. There's two securities here. And this is on their side. So it's like somebody, your partner had a false sense of security in this, I feel. Um, 
and there's some kind of revelation. Either they are revealing something, there might be something that there might be that they are they were hiding that's coming out, or they're finding something out. Okay, but it's like it's like a sudden revelation that rocks our world and the tower is not crumbling because there's nothing to crumble because there was no foundation there. Okay. Um, and I think they're coming to a realization that maybe they're, they're, they may be seeing things in a different light. Let's see what else comes up here. What's under the deck? Five of Pentacles. You know, it's like they're looking at this and they're seeing this bare tree. You know, and it's foggy. They're staring at that. They're watching it. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting on you, Taurus. They have been. And there's the card of Capricorn. Whoa. And this is the devil card. And this is somebody who is caught up. This is addictions. This is obsession. So what I'm feeling here is that maybe you have somebody here, you know, um, in the mode of obsession. Somebody could be obsessed with you, just saying, or somebody may feel trapped and somebody's breaking free of a of something else. So you have to figure out how this relates to you. Okay, and then we have the other side of the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who's taken back their cup. This is like a promise not delivered. Okay. It's like somebody not living up to their end of the bargain, whether it's you or your partner, okay? Um, your partner definitely has some obsessive behavior. They may be also addicted to material possessions here. They're planting their seeds. They're thinking about their financial security. So... <coughs> They want to seal the deal, is what I'm feeling. So I, I'm i seeing red flags on this, honestly, Taurus. I'm seeing really bold red fucking flags. Sorry for my language. But I'm seeing red fucking flags right here. Because I feel as though your love interest, it's like, how, it's like there's no real foundation. But the mask is coming off. The mask is cracking. Okay, it's broken right in half. So something is being revealed. And whatever is being revealed is very shocking. Okay, that don't see coming and it's on their side. Either they don't see it coming or you don't see this coming from them. But something is definitely being revealed. It's causing, something's causing inner conflicts with you and I do feel... That's because there's, there's still another energy lurking around you. Maybe you haven't healed from something from the past or you're holding out for someone else. But we have that um, the Ace of Cups here. So I do feel, so I think there's some kind of energy sneaking in here. It might be uncovered and it's going to blow the lid off of something. Because this person's been waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm sorry, Taurus, but they, they feel it's like they are very materialistic. They may even be viewing you as being materialistic, just saying. And you see them as argumentative. Hmm. There is so much conflict in here. I'm sorry, Taurus. I hate to give a reading like this. God, I hate to. But there's conflicts here. It's like you both are not on the same page. And you need to get on the same page. If you can't get on the same page, then you need to release it and let it go. Okay. So let's see what other energies are here. Let's get some clarifiers.
just curious about something here. Yeah, in this other deck, I'm seeing the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, there's some kind of truth being told. There is a truth being told. And this deception thing, I think it's going on both sides. Because it is kind of like part of the mutual energies of the overall relationship. They're hiding something, you're hiding something. And you both are not on the same page. It's like you both need to get on the same page. You either need to fix it or let it go. But what if we're going to start on your side? What is this five of wands, please? What is the five of wands? Five of wands, we have high priestess. This is about using your intuition, using your better judgment. This is definitely things that are hidden behind the scenes. So the, and this is internal. So this is definitely an internal struggle. You're struggling with something. And you're trying to find a proper balance in dealing with the situation. Okay. Um, because you're carrying this heavy load here. And this is, um, you know, there's no, it's like a hollow victory. No matter how you look, how you slice the cake, your way you're looking at it is, it's not coming up even. And this is a four of cups. So you're definitely not happy with the way your life is headed right now. And you want to make changes, but you're not sure how to go about doing that. Because no matter what decision you make, decision making time, okay, no matter what decision you make, there's going to be some sort of sense of loss because you have to let something go. Okay, what is this three of cups reverse, please? King of cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. This is somebody who is very much in control of their emotions. This could be an aspect of you. Okay. You might have your emotions under control. They're under your feet. You're keeping them within. But And you're on that throne. And you're making some sort of decision. This is an emotional decision that you're making. Okay. Um, King of Wands. There we, there's the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, this is somebody who's finding their passion. They're making a very emotional decision. And, and it's something that they're passionate about. It's something that they need to take control of. Uh, we have the Six of Cups here. So it does involve, it could involve children. Maybe you're making your decision based upon the needs of the children. Or this could be an ex or a past relationship or a childhood relationship that you are dealing with. Okay, that you're trying to make some sort of sense of that you're trying to make a decision about. Um, but somebody, I, with two kings falling on this, I am seeing two people. It's two masculines. It doesn't have to be two men, but the energies are masculine. But the, again, these could also be the energy that you are taking on as well. Okay, um, two sides of your, two opposites. Okay, four of pentacles, otherwise this four of pentacles here. Juggling act, two of, two of pentacles, two and four is six. But this is um, the other side, so I still go back to two. This is a juggling act. You're, you are very indecisive, okay? And you're going back and forth. You're probably thinking about the financial end as well. Um, it's like you're, try, you're trying to... Five of Wands, again, internal struggle. You're struggling between two decisions, my friends. And I think you, before you decide, before you do anything, before you make any kind of permanent decisions regarding a connection, before you go marching down the aisle, okay, you know, you need to take some time out and rest for yourself. You need to decide. You need to do some meditating, connecting with your spiritual self, connecting with your higher self, connecting with your intuition. To decide what direction you want to go. You are very indecisive about this connection. And they may feel it. Maybe that's why 
this side is coming up this way. They're waiting and waiting. Now they're starting to think that there is no growth potential, that it's a bunch of empty promises because you're indecisive. You have this internal conflict going on and you're trying to juggle. You, Taurus, you're juggling two people. Um, again, like I said, this can be your other person and this can be your side, but it just, it's however it relates to you. And then we have the Capricorn energy here, or this is the devil card. This is about being tied to material items. This is somebody who could be very materialistic, and this is on your person's side, okay? If they may be materialistic, but they may be seeing you as materialistic also. But I feel as though that they're holding on because there is some kind of obsession here as well. It's something empty. It's something false. It's a false foundation. It wasn't real. I feel like that there was fantasy land here. It wasn't real. They're waiting on some kind of growth or something to transpire. I swear this is your person's energy waiting for that ring. Waiting for those wedding rings. You know, this person waiting for a commitment from you. This person wanting to get married. But it may be for the wrong reasons. It's like they are like obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. You may be feeling that and that's why you're not 100% convinced. This deception here and things hidden under the scenes, things not being as they appear. That's what this is about. There is so much things underneath the surface and I feel it's going to come out this week. Oh, uh, what is the tower card here? Why is this tower here? Judgment. You know, this is this is reconciliation. This can also be, you know, a judgment call. You know, somebody may, they feel that they may have made a poor judgment call. A bad decision. Or they may feel that, you know... Their bubble might be being burst. You might be bursting somebody's bubble this week, Taurus. Because somebody thinks this is a total reconciliation. Somebody thinks that this is like um, new stars, new beginnings. They're looking at more of a commitment. They are definitely looking at more of a commitment. And But it's all false foundations. <sighs> this is unreal. Libra energy here, justice, karma. We go, and that's karma. Wow. Holy shit. Karma's coming around. Uh, what did I just say? Things are mysterious. Things are illusions. False foundations. Somebody's a bubble's getting busted. Mm -mm. Either they're busting your bubble or their, bu their bubble's getting busted. It's like somebody was living in fucking fantasy land. Okay. You know, there are some bad decisions made, okay, and more water. Somebody's going to be, this is very, somebody's going to be very emotional. This is, this is going, oh, it's going to be an emotional week. Okay, let's see what the seven of pentacles is. I think that they, they got their shovel here. That's on both sides. But I think this is somebody going right, almost ready to turn their back on something that's not growing. See, this side of the card, there's at least some growth there. Some grass. This side... You know, this is like, I feel like a reality check. Well, let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is. Five of Pentacles, yeah, somebody's, somebody's afraid that they're going to be left out in the cold, that they've been investing in something that they're going to lose in the end anyhow. Got the tower here. You know, got the devil card. Repeat cards, you know. I'd swear, there's definitely some kind of obsession here. Independence, Aquarian energy. You know, 
wish fulfillment, you know, divine guidance. Somebody, somebody's bubble's getting busted. Mm -mm. Yep. I'm looking at both of these. Neither one of you are on the same page. Jeez. Okay, let's see what this double card is. It's like an obsession with money. Somebody wants that independent. Somebody wants that wealth, you know, that good life. That's their motivation. Uh, you know, there's a three. There is deception, and this card is also about deception. This is third party. Uh, there's a cheating card. So there's an Aries card. Who's cheating? Now this is on their side. This and there's deception here. This is deception. I saw a third party. Maybe you both are. Maybe you both have multiple people. Because here's the card of Aries. You might have a strong Aries in the mm. So again. Um, I, told, I said before, you may want to watch the Aries video. I'm saying that again, because this is Aries. This is somebody who's in charge. This is somebody who's in dominion. Um, head of the household. Unhealthy. Controlling. So, somebody might feel like that they're being controlled, and they're sneaking off somewhere, and... See, seven is and ten swords, betrayal. This is screaming betrayal on your person's side. Okay. Something's coming out. Somebody is cheating. Somebody is deceiving another person. And it's coming out. It's coming. Mm, it's definitely being revealed. Oh, what do we have under here? Nine of swords. Okay. Uh, so this is about worries and somebody walking away. Somebody's been agonizing over this for a while, thinking of uh, thinking about walking away and abandoning this connection here. Um, this might be them or this might be you. Maybe they're worried that you are going to walk away from them. Or they have somebody else that they're thinking about walking away from you and walking towards. And this is something that has them worried. They're going through all kinds of anxiety over this. But it's definitely a fear. There's definitely some kind of departure, potential departure. Uh, this is. I apologize. This is a very heavy reading, but I'm feeling like somebody wanted a deeper connection that did not come to pass. That somebody's bu bubbles getting busted, and somebody might be walking. Ah, <sighs> I don't like these kind of readings, but you know I can't. And I'm sorry, Taurus, I can't pretty this up. And I really can't. This is a very difficult situation. And you know what? I th I'm calling it like it is. I feel there's deception on their side. There's deception on your side. Neither one of you are being honest with each other. That's why you're not on the same page. You both have your own agendas. Okay. I'll look at some final guidance here. This reading's already 39 minutes. Holy shit. Okay, this is a long one. But that's what happens when you start getting real. I start getting into these readings, and I pay no attention to time. And they get long. Sometimes. But with all these cards, yeah. I see final guidance and messages for Taurus, please. Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. For this upcoming week. There's something better Taurus. There's something better than what this person's offering you. So this is telling me even more. That they're hiding something from you. They have some secret agenda behind it all. Sorry about that. My video cut off. And I had to pick up. But somebody had other ulterior motivations. Motivated by money. Not by love. Okay. They probably have... Somebody else on their side also 
to fulfill their sexual needs or whatever. But, you know, Spirit says there is something better than what your par current partner is offering. You both are not on the same page. I, I've said that a few times. You both have different goals in this relationship. Different motivators. Opportunity. Okay, so you have an opportunity. There's another opportunity on the table, my friends, that you need to take a close look at. Abundance. That will bring you freaking abundance. Come on, Taurus. And this is about judgment call, making the right decision. You're not happy with the way things are going right now. You know, you feel that there's no growth. And a year from now, you don't want to be looking back and thinking, what if? Okay, you've been, at, I think that you've been at this particular connection long enough and you're starting to see the light, okay? And on your partner's side, they had all these plans and aspirations. They were thinking about their future, not as far as love is concerned, but more, it's like they have like a very addictive, they have a very, um, obs it's like you are like an obsession to them. And they are attracted to your bank account. This is what I'm feeling. And that's why they're pushing, pushing, pushing for this wedding. They're pushing for the, mar the marriage card right now. And it's because it's all, they see things crumbling. And they're trying to stop it is what I'm feeling. And they think, well, if I secure the deal, you know, it's be ha harder for them to get rid of me. And meanwhile, they have somebody else on the side too. That it's not a serious commitment with that other person. It's more for fun. Oh, I could go on and on. But I'm going to stop the video here. This is long enough. But this seems to be what's going on behind the scenes. But I think the main thing about this coming week is some shit is going to hit the fan. Some shit's going to come to light. And there's definitely going to be judgment calls and decisions that are going to have to be made. Either you fix it or you... Or you let it go. Okay, this is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.